This uh, truck is completely anonymous. It does not need any other systems to operate. So you can drive this truck without any assistance, any preconditions on any infrastructure whatsoever. It drives by itself, it's autonomous. It's, it's uh, a strange feeling. Uh, but after a couple of kilometers, uh, I'm very, very comfortable. I feel very safe. Uh, I will feel very secure. And uh, I have to say, it's really fun to drive that truck. Actually, it's very simple, right? You push that button and you lean back and relax. That's all that it's about. Everything else has been done by the system. The system takes over and pilots you to the traffic. It's just great, it's a good feeling. In 2011, our inventors set the wheels in motion on the Super Truck Project. A challenge set before us by the U.S. Department of Energy to build a truck that improves freight efficiency by 50%. The focus was the entire vehicle. I mean, the only part we carried over from production was part of the cab, the body in white. So this was a unique opportunity where we were able to optimize the entire vehicle, tractor and trailer together. The entire dynamic development was driven by simulation, which is what we use to evaluate the aerodynamic property of a particular model, and then we iterate on the process to tweak that model to get the maximum aerodynamics we can get out of it. We had people working on the powertrain, of course, uh, dedicated to the powertrain improvements. We had a whole team dedicated to the vehicle improvements. At the end of the day, it was all about building this complete vehicle that everybody was a part of. One of the most important lessons that we learned during the powertrain development for a super truck was how important it is to consider everything as a system. So we took a very systematic approach developing not only the powertrain components, but marrying those components to the transmission and the whole truck. This whole truck is a system that was created together, so that's the innovation of thinking about a vehicle in this way instead of a tractor or a trailer or just an engine or a transmission. In the end, creating one of the most advanced and efficient trucks ever built, a global team dedicated to making our own dreams take flight. Driven by a culture of innovation, continuous improvement, stubbornness, dedication, passion, Your truck is in for service. Your big questions are, when will it be fixed, and how much will it really cost? What if you had all the information you needed on every repair, regardless of your truck's location? Paired with Volvo's remote diagnostics, Assist gives you real-time communication between you, your truck, your dealer, and the 24-7 uptime team at Volvo Action Service. All working to help you get the truck back on the road and back to work. Yeah. 
the first Actos in 1996. Since then, we have sold more than one million trucks. Great success for Mercedes-Benz trucks, and especially, I am very proud of that. Well, the Actos stands for the long-haul truck, and it is definitely the flagship of Mercedes-Benz trucks. Our customers are very convinced of the Actos. Safety is part of the Mercedes-Benz DNA. With our Active Brake Assist 4, we are first to market with pedestrian detection. With the Actos, Mercedes-Benz has a perfect long-haul truck. Customers like the efficiency of the Actos. And it's also tailor-made for the drivers. Most modern, first-class workplace for the driver. The Actros stands for comfort, driving dynamics, and economy. For me, it is still the best long-haul truck in competition. And for sure, we will continue to make the Actros even better. We not only promise, we all... Moving inside the cab through the sliding driver's door, you'll see the key difference that allowed for the more dramatic aero design. The driver sits in the center of the console rather than over to the left. The dash is electronic and therefore customizable to the gauges and performance data that a particular driver wants to monitor. And it's all finished off with a full-size comfortable sleeper. Moving on to the trailer, not only is this the first time a trailer has been made out of carbon fiber, but it's actually the first time one piece, 53 foot panels of carbon fiber have been manufactured. Looking at the front of the trailer, you can see that the nose is convex, which increases the aerodynamics of the entire package, as well as adding additional cargo space inside the trailer. 